What is up, friends? My name is Joss, and welcome back to Scoople's Reads. I have finally, finally gotten through my big, huge stack of library books, so of course, naturally, I went back to the library and got another one. We are going to do my second library haul today. So my local library has a really, really fantastic YA section, but not really the greatest adult book section. This time I picked up six young adult novels and a few graphic novels as well. The first book that I picked up was The Scorpio Races by Maggie Steve Otter. It is a standalone novel. It follows the Scorpio Races, which happen at the beginning of every November. Sean is the returning champion, and Puck is the first girl to ever compete in the Scorpio Races, and it follows both of their lives a little bit more closely. The next book that I picked up is called Hotel Ruby by Suzanne Young. It follows a girl named Audrey. Her family has recently undergone a lot of changes in their lives. They have gone to stay only one night at this hotel. Unfortunately, things take a turn, shit starts to get weird, and they end up staying a lot longer than expected. The third book that I picked up I am so super excited about. It is called Made You Up by Francesca Zappia. It follows the life of a girl named Alex. Alex is a high school senior, but she has also been diagnosed with schizophrenia. Throughout the book, the reader has to decide whether these things are actually happening in real life or if these things are a psychotic symptom, if they're like delusions in her own mind. I'm super stoked for this one because as a psych major, I'm always so interested in seeing how mental health is portrayed in the media. This next book I'm also super excited about. The protagonist does identify as LGBTQ. It is Everything Leads to You by Nina LaCour. It follows a girl whose name is Emmy, and Emmy is a set designer and she's just starting to break through in like the film industry. Except she keeps on going back to her ex-girlfriend and they don't necessarily have the greatest relationship. One day at work she comes across a mysterious letter that leads her to a girl named Ava. The book explores her relationship with Ava and how it progresses. I think having diversity in young adult literature is so so important, especially in the protagonists, so I'm always so super excited to pick up another book that follows that theme. The next book that I grab is kind of like an enigma in like the Goodreads world. It is We Are Liars by E. Lockhart. No one really in their reviews tells you what this book is actually about, so all I really know about it is that there are four friends and there's a plot twist. The last book that I picked up is called Never Always Sometimes by Adi Al Said. It follows the lives of Dave and Julia, who have been best friends forever. Now they're in high school. They've made up this list called The Never List, and on The Never List is a bunch of things that they said that they would never ever do. And number 10 is you would never ever date your best friend. Well, unfortunately, Dave is in love with Julia. Moving on to the graphic novels, the first two graphic novels that I picked up are Volumes 1 and 2 of Saga by Brian K. Vaughn. I am finally hopping on this train, woo! -hoo! And the final book that I picked up was actually suggested by my friend Elena at E Reads Books. I will link her channel down below. It is called The Sculptor by Scott McCloud. The Sculptor follows a guy named Dave. Dave just wants to be seen by the world, so in exchange for longevity of life, the universe gave him the ability to sculpt any material with his hands and become an artist. However, he only has 200 days left to live, and this book follows him throughout those 200 days of his life. So that is it for today. If you guys have read any of these books, please let me know what you think of them in the comments. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!